A lot of things have changed, as you can probably see. We got the lift in, we got the bike up on the lift. So I'm just setting those aside for now. Those are what we worked on last time. Um, today, tonight, wherever it is, I want to see maybe if I can get the front brakes working here. So I uh, picked up a new master cylinder for this guy and should be compatible. I could probably rebuild the existing one that's in here and I might try and do that, but I just want to eliminate any possible issues that I have uh, aside from that. So we're going to use that, fill that, and then pop the piston out of this guy and see how bad a shape it is in. So let's go ahead and drop the lift down and uh, yeah. Thankfully this one we can just pop off. Now really the only important thing about these are that the little switch fits and they got a big enough reservoir. So you can use pretty much, I mean you can get away with using a lot of the universal. I think like if you got one sitting around you swap it out. I just like this one because it's got that nice little chrome top plate. So. I think what I might do is get a new reservoir and just get this thing repowder coated or something and rebuild it. But I'm not rich right now, so for the time being, we're just gonna swap out with one that works so that we can at least test to make sure that our brakes are functional. Because it does no good to have a motorcycle that runs without brakes. And these are seven eighths i believe the main thing you want to do is just make sure that you check the size of your bar to make sure that your diameter is correct or else you won't have the right clamp force and the brake's going to slide all over the place so that that's and then the other thing you want to make sure is that you've got the right size brake line let's kind of snug that down for right now nice all right so you can see this guy was rusty and you can inside the actual brake line which has me a little bit worried like if the whole brake line's rusted like that i might have to swap it out for a different set but for the time being we're just gonna run it i think what i actually might do before i put this back on is i'm just gonna run a yeah, like a little wiry brushers. So there's a lot of rust in there. You can even see that rust coming out of there. So the one thing about this that you see how this one's made for the back brake line like that. So that was the only issue that I was worried about. But I might be able to get a different brake line to fit for it. So Damn it, that's what I was worried about. It's just a hair too short. It'll fit, it's just throwing a fit. So what we're gonna do is just play the old Lucy Gooser. I kinda assumed it was gonna have to be adjusted, so throw this guy out real quick. Throw this guy out real quick. I'll slide you up enough to where you fit nicely. See if we can make it so it's still comfortable on the hand gripped at the same time. So let's let's do this. We're just gonna slide it up a little ways right now. And get it on here. And then we'll slide it back down one side. I'm pretty sure the one in the picture that I got had the nub on the back. So they bamboozled me. Those darn uh, Amazon sellers bamboozled me, it looks like. I mean, it technically does work. I think it'll fit a normal gold wing, actually. I think the thing, I think the reason why it doesn't fit is because these are aftermarket bars, which sit like four or five inches higher. So, actually, I think that's the real reason why it doesn't fit. Not because the brake kit was bad or the seller was, was being dishonest. Yeah, we got plenty of plenty of goof on there, so and 
I think about right there is good. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to see if I can find one that's got that rear. So what I'm talking about is if you notice on this one, see how the duct is on the rear there. So I'll just have to search for one that's got it. Let's go ahead and let's put our brake caliper back on here. And then what we're going to do is pump it up, get that piston to pop out, and then I can take a look at it. And depending on how bad it is, you may or may not have to replace it. So my goal is not to replace it. And I needed a new, or I needed to clean this bolt. I need, or buy a new one. So I think cleaning is the best option. So we're just going to put this in backwards here real quick. And the other reason why I kind of wanted to change this, because as you saw, that other reservoir is just beat up. It's got, I think it's got a little crack in it too. And the um, master cylinder is just not in really good shape. So as much as I want to keep that other one, it's going to cost like, I think it's, it's like $35 to replace the reservoir housing. And it's like another $35 for the <laughs> internal uh, rebuild kit. And it's like, man, it's $35 for everything. It's like, I'm 75 bucks just to rebuild this thing. So it's, yeah, it is what it is. Oh, look at them good bubbles. I'll just pump it through for a little bit. Let her soak in. So what we're looking for, see all them little bubblies? Them little bubbles, tiny bubbles. This is basically just any air that's in the line is going to backfeed as we pump in. Let's see if we can make this go a little faster. So I'm going to crack this bleeder. Let's see if I can just get it to vacuum bleed out. I need to... Actually, before I do anything else, i got to pull this bleeder off. I forgot this bleeder's plug shut. jumped in there all right now it's unobstructed and look at that it gravity bled some juice for us some, definitely some dirty juice Ugh. Oh, you got a problem all right let's pump it yeah there we go push out all that bad nasty shit that's in the cylinder we're gonna open it back up now, if you notice when you do this, if it's like sucking the brake fluid back down in, that means you got a problem with your master cylinder. All right, I should see a little bit of fluid come out right at the very end. I definitely have, um, I have some brake now, so that's good. And I think we're moving the piston just a hair. But I think we still got air in the line. Let me go ahead and crack the bleeder again. Oh yeah, now it's pushing a little bit. That bleeder didn't seal all the way, that's why we were getting some weird. Alright, let me crack it back open. Open up this side real quick. I think this side's actually in okay shape. I think this side, the piston's actually free. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. Yeah, get all them bad little bubbles out. Good job. Alright, nice. There we go. Got that one unclogged. Spill brake fluid all over. Because of course it did. 
<laughs> Son of a bitch. Because <laughs> the bucket's right there, but it still manages to go around the bucket. You kidding me? Come on. What a prick. What a prick. This is what I deal with every day. Just to spite me. Alright, there we go. So I think I'll let the air out of that one. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting a little break. This one's still stuck, though. I can tell she's stuck. The other one, the thing's free. Oh, uh, yeah, that piston seized up. Oh, I, I'm worried this caliper might just be gone, gone. But I, there's still a way I can save it, so... I'm not getting any movement from it at all. Mm. Not good. So one thing I can try and do is let it sit for a night with some juice in it. Maybe we can get lucky. And over the night of it just kind of sitting there, it might decide that, hey, I want to pop loose. But that's a, that's a rare, a rare one. Oh, oh, it moved. Did you see it? I don't know if you guys saw it, but there's just a little tiny, just a little kick. Come on. Now they're bleeding. And not only that, but the piston popped loose. I don't know if you heard it, I don't know if it'd pick it up, but there was just the tiniest, tiniest little tick. And then I saw her move. Let's see if we can get it to move again. Come on, girl. We just need you to do one last one last run. Build maximum pressure in the line. Yeah, she's sliding a little bit. I'm seeing it flex. This is good. Oh, I think the seal on the piston might have gave him. Yep, that's what's happening. It's the O ring slipping. But that's still okay because, yep, she's free now. We got it. I'm shooting juice out like a crazy man up here. I want to rip all the paint off this. Come on. be no paint left on this by the time I'm done with it, that's for sure. Yeah, these pistons are moving now. I'll put the cap on just cause. Alright, this is good. We got uh, full movement on the cylinder, on the piston. So I think what happened was the uh when i was freeing it up i got it too low and then when that happened the uh piston got down to where there's like it must have some corrosion on the sleeve or some corrosion on the outer portion of the piston so this piston might not be bad it might be that i just pushed it too far in and there's just like a bad spot which is okay because that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad because i don't want to replace it if it's not bad but if it is bad, it's only like 40 bucks, so it's worth the $40 to be able to stop. The big news is we got the piston free. All 
salt and break juice off this damn thing. I'm gonna say that this this piston's not going home for Christmas. We're gonna retire this one to the old piston junkyard. It might not be that bad. I mean, maybe I get it out and clean it off, and it's just just a little bit of goop around there. But I've got a sneaking suspicion. Yep, right there. That's what I thought. So you see that little? There's a there's a spot right there that's missing. That's just about as wide as the gap. yourself loose. She went. That one's it. Loose. The little tappy tappins. There she went. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at how bad the inside of that caliper was. I'm going to have to pull the other one apart now. I don't have a choice. This one's that bad? Oh. So this is what I was worried about right there. There's corrosion on the inside of that. And it's really bad. I think the seal is still good, actually. I, I, I really think the seal held on. The issue was we just got a ton of corrosion on the on the wall, and you saw how dirty and gunk that was in there. So I, I don't have a choice. I gotta pull the. I have to pull the other caliper part too, because if that one's this bad, that means the other one's that bad. Well, anyway, so good news is I think we're gonna be okay. Bad news is I don't think that uh, I don't think that brake caliper will though. I might have to replace both of them. We'll see. That's okay. Not the. Just hoping these would be in a little better shape than they were, but not the worst possible outcome. So yeah, these probably need all cleaned out. <clears throat> I'll have to brush those out, get them all wired out, cleaned up, and then we'll, we'll get some brake fluid, and we'll put them back together, I guess, with the new pistons. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to take the other one off, too. I'm going to need to, uh, I guess, put the other one back together first before I pop the other one so that I can push the other one back out, too, as well. All right, good progress, though. We got that one loose. We're making some making some progress. A little concerned it didn't start though. It should turn over. Now I'll put it on the charger up at the battery's probably just dead. 